Ukraine's Prime Minister and European Union officials have finalized an aid package for a total of almost 1.4 billion euros. The funds will be used by Kiev to pay its energy bills, combat corruption and reform its institutions. After signing the deal, the Ukrainian Prime Minister slammed Russia for destabilizing his country. Sandra Gatman reports. Fresh aid for Ukraine was signed off in Brussels. The EU pledged more than $1.8 billion to help improve government institutions in Kiev and pay off state-owned debt to Russian gas suppliers. In exchange, Ukraine has promised public reforms. The EU has promised ongoing support. Ukraine can count on the European Union now and in the future. The EU deal is one of several financial lifelines extended to Ukraine by Western nations, including aid from the United States and part of a $17 billion package from the International Monetary Fund. The EU has tried to help Ukraine in other ways too, temporarily lifting customs duties to the rest of Europe and reversing the flow of natural gas more cheaply from Slovakia instead of relying on Russian supply. Ukraine will also sign a free trade deal with the EU in June. All part of broad efforts to prevent Ukraine defaulting on its debts during a time of grave political uncertainty. Uh, I think this year it's clear that we will have a recession in the country. Uh, some estimate that it will be about 5% of GDP. The recession is a strong recession, but it's not a huge thing. So the country is not going to break down as many people think. It will be a strong recession. But if you compare it to 2009, the recession was then 15 percent of GDP. But for Ukraine's interim leader, security remains top concern. Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk accused Russia of trying to splinter his country. Russia will fail to make Ukraine a failed state. The real test will be Ukraine's upcoming presidential elections on May 25th with Europe counting on Russia to support a smooth process or face tougher economic sanctions. Sandra Gottman, CCTV, Brussels.